The oldest Minnesota resident is turning 113. Erna Zahn was born in 1907 and continues to impress those around her at Oak Hills Living Center in New Ulm. Erna has lived through not only this COVID pandemic, but also the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918. Now that she's fully vaccinated, she's able to see loved ones again and celebrate some for the first time in more than a year. Erna is the 10th oldest person in the country and ranks 30th in the world. A unique take for an event this weekend in Fargo. If you show your COVID-19 vaccination card at Comic-Con, you don't have to wear a mask. That's a celebration of pop culture with a pretty big concentration of comics, but it doesn't stop there. They have role-playing games, movies, and a Lego room. You can do workshops and join panels with people who currently work for DC and Marvel. The event was originally scheduled for February, then canceled, but after the vaccination process began, organizers felt comfortable having it now in April. They say they're happy to bring back some normalcy. It's one of those things where you can finally get out. I mean, people have been going out to shop and things like that, but to actually get back into events, so you can you can see it starting to happen in our area, where there's actually quite a few events this weekend coming up, which is interesting uh, that is starting to explode back into semi-normalcy. The event kicks off tomorrow with a film festival starting at 530. The rest of the events are on Saturday and Sunday. Ticket prices vary, but you can get an all weekend pass for 15 bucks. There will also be a live auction this weekend for Sanford Children's Hospital. Details on that can be found at valleynewslive.com. Just click on this story. Straight ahead, can your Apple Watch detect COVID? How about the flu? We'll explain the new technology when Valley News Live at 4 continues.